Hi all. Today we are going to learn some of the VAT impact on a specific industry that is real estate. As you all know, real estate, real estate is one of the important industry in the UAE. So real estate and related activities, how VAT will be impacting. When we learn that one, there is another important provision which we have to learn as capital asset scheme. So real estate related activities and the capital assets will be learned today. Let us see how the v what are the transactions related to real estate. See, in real estate, mainly there are two. One is residential, the other one is commercial. In the residential as well as commercial, the transactions either it will be lease or sales. Now let us understand I, uh, category wise in the case of residential lease or sale what are the how the tax implication how the VAT will be in, uh, affected on such as transactions if the the in the case of residential the, if the first sale or first lease is happening within the three years of completion then the tax applicability varies if the first sale or first lease is before three years from the date of completion, such a transactions will be zero rated. At the same time, if such a transactions are happening after three years or the second sale or second lease onwards, in normal case, it will be exempted. Then we have to consider another important provision. In the case of leasing the tenancy contract, whether the tenant is MRS ID holder or not. In case if he is not an MRS ID holder, then if he is leasing the, uh, the, the property for less than 6 months, in such cases, it will be 5% taxable. Otherwise, it will be exempted. In short, in the case of residential property, lease or sale, within the first 3 years of completion, then it will be zero rated. Otherwise, it will be exempted. That is, after three years, it will be exempted. Now, let us see how the transactions are happening in the case of commercial property. Of course, all the commercial properties under lease or sales, it will be 5% taxed. Now, we will understand some of the transactions in the real estate are 5% standard rate. Some are exempted. Some are zero rated also. Let me categorize those for your easiness, for easy understanding. See the chart. The following are considered as 5% standard rated. 1. Lease or sale of commercial property. 2. Car parking. 3. Services related to construction work. All the three are standard rated supplies under real estate activity. Now, zero rated. Number one, the first sale or first lease of residential buildings within three years of its completion, they are zero rated. Number two, first supply of charity related buildings will be zero rated. Number three, first supply of buildings converted from non-residential to residential will be zero rated. You now let us see what are the exempted categories. Under exempted, supply of residential buildings after three years are exempted sale of bare land will be exempted. So, in short, under real estate, standard rated supplies are the zero rated supplies are the exempted supplies are the and a different examples also given for you. Now, let us learn what is capital asset scheme. Capital asset scheme is one of the important provisions under UAE VAT law. Before understanding capital asset scheme, we should understand what is a capital asset. A capital asset is an asset which is used for long term purpose. Any asset which is used for long term is called a capital asset. But there are certain conditions to be satisfied for considering a capital asset under capital asset scheme. Condition number one, a capital asset which should have a value 5 million or more. In that case only, the capital asset will be considered for capital asset scheme. 
and the life of the assets should be at least to five years or more. In the case of property, that is in the case of real estate, the buildings, the life of the asset should be minimum 10 years or more. And in the case of other assets, at least five years or more. If these two conditions are satisfied, then only those capital assets will be considered for capital asset scheme. What is capital asset scheme? Capital asset scheme is a provision where the initially, it initially recovered input taxes adjusted in future depends upon the usage of the assets, change in usage of the assets. That means any asset, any capital asset which are having 5 million or more, if the, the in input credit which have taken initially can be adjusted in future in case the usage is changed in future. This is capital asset scheme. Many are confused whether the capital asset scheme means the input credit has to be taken over a period of 5 years or 10 years. No, that's not right. Input credit can be taken in the first year itself, in the year of acquisition itself. But the usage of the, in case the usage of the asset is changed in future, then the initial recovered input credit can be readjusted can be paid back to the authority depends upon the change in usage. This is called a capital asset scheme. I will give uh, the example for this capital asset scheme so that you will understand better. In this example, the value of the total uh, value of the asset is 5 million. The total value of the asset is 5 million and input tax for that one 5 percentage is 250,000. So the input VAT recovery for the first year is 250,000. So, the life of the asset is 10 years. I have mentioned here year 1 to year 10 for your referral purpose. In this example, the asset is used for commercial purpose for the year 1, year 2 and year 3. Thereafter, the 40 percentage of the supply is, so 40 percentage of the asset is, asset is converted for the exempted supply. For example, this, ca uh, the, the commercial property has been changed to residential property to the extent of 40 percentage. In such a case, you can see year 1, year 2, year 3, 100 percentage is taxable, that is commercial property. From year 4 to year 10, the 40 percentage is used as exempted, that is the residential purpose and only 60 percentage is used as commercial. In such cases, the capital asset scheme will be applicable. See here for repayment of the input VAT recovery that is from year 4 onwards the proportionate amount that is yearly it is coming 25,000 as the uh, as the input tax if we allocate 40 percent of that one that is 10,000 which is proportionate for exempted category. So that has to be paid back to the authority from year 4 to year 10. This is the example for the capital asset scheme. To understand more on the real estate activity, let us, I, I would like to give one more example. Let us see how the, we, the capital asset scheme will work in the case of buying a residential property. When we buy the residential property, there will not be input tax for that one because first sale or subsequent sale, either it will be zero rated or exempted, so there won't be input tax for that one. This, part, this property which is bought can be used either for lease or for sales. If we are using it for sales, of course, it is not a capital asset at all because it will be an inventory. But if you are using it for lease, still input credit is not there. So, there is no question of capital asset scheme in such cases. Let us see in the case of commercial property. Buying the property, commercial property is bought. At the time of buying, 5% tax will be there. Input credit can be taken in the first year of first period of VAT return. In this VAT, this uh, commercial property either can be used for lease purpose or for sale purpose. In the case of sales, it's not a capital asset. So, cap there is no question of capital asset scheme. 
in the case of sales it is an inventory then in the case of lease in the case of lease it will be a capital asset if the value of the asset is more than 5 million and the life of the asset is more than 10 years then only this property will be considered as under capital asset scheme and capital asset scheme will be applicable in case if this commercial property is changed to the residential property as well if part of it or fully converted to residential in future then it then the capital asset scheme will be applicable under execute regulation of the law that is article number 39 there is another provision which is related to commercial property converted into residential property in such cases how the tax will be applicable say in this example xyz property it was a residential in beginning 2005 later converted to commercial in the year 2010 then converted to residential again in the year 2018 now the question is after converting to residential in 2018 how the tax will be applicable we have to check whether this property was a commercial property five years prior to the conversion to commercial to residential that means commercial to residential was done in the year 2018 look backward last five years whether it was a residential property part of it or not no in this case no so in the year 2018 2019 and 2020 it will it will be zero rated thereafter 2021 20, onwards it will be exempted in the other example the second part the residential it was a property was residential in 2010 converted to commercial in 2016 then converted to residential in the year 2018 in such case when we ask the question again whether the residential property the commercial property converted into residential in the year 2018 was a residential property for last five years any of the prior five years of course in this example in 2018 we converted the commercial to residential but when we look backward this property was residential up to the year 2016 then in that case zero rate will not be applicable from 2018 onwards everything will be exempted all supplies of this commercial pro all, all supplies of this residential property will be exempted in short this is the provision given under executive regulation th clause number 39 related to converting the commercial building to residential building to conclude regarding the real estate real estate activity this is one of the main industry in the uae so the activity related to this and the applicability of the uae vat law is very important as far as the industry is concerned so we have learned some of the transactions are exempted some are standard rated some are zero rated as well so the capital asset scheme also very much applicable in the case of the properties as well so related to real estate the government has given a lot of consideration for the residential activity first three years it will be zero rated then only it will be then it will be exempted as well so in the case of residential property no burden of vat and only in the case of commercial property there will be tax of five percentage applicable and however since the for the commercial input credit can be taken for the commercial properties input credit also can be taken by the industry by the by the business Hence, there won't be much impact of VAT on this industry as well.